Hey guys, it's Chili here. Let's take a look at the solutions to the tutorial 7 homework problems. I think I gave you like three Visual Studio solutions and they all had bugs in them. And I told you to find the bugs. So let's find the bugs. I don't even really properly remember where they all are or what they are. But uh, let's do this. So click retry break so again we're you know we, we've where did my window go well perfect uh, opportunity to use that wait where's my there it is windows call stack good so put pixel yeah we're drawing off the screen in the negative apparently negative five negative five so that looks like perhaps we are trying to draw our box at zero zero because in that case um the top left pixel would be at negative five negative five so we can go up the uh, the call stack look at draw box and yeah it was trying to draw the box at zero zero not a good idea let's see who ordered this x fixed y fixed oh no wait the arrow points to the next statement so the current statement being executed is this one x fixed zero y fixed zero so if we look at those guys yep they are that zero for some reason not really sure why though um, yes because this is the drawing code right so this doesn't really affect the values of these guys it just reads the values so we want to see where where the values are affected so let's stop this horse and pony show and let's go up here and we're gonna set a breakpoint to update and model I'm gonna run that all right, so what we're going to do is step over this input bullshit. Here we're setting X mobile, Y mobile. Well, first let's look at our values. Yeah, X fixed, Y fixed, already set to zero. So that means that at the very beginning of our program, value is already at zero because we haven't done anything to it yet. I mean, none of our code actually changes the fixed values because they're fixed, right? They don't move. So, in this case, we got to use a little logic and we got to say, okay, where is the first place where those guys' values are going to be set? And the answer is here. This is where we initialize the values of our uh, member variables. And we see, oh shit, it's that boy. No, it's not being initialized so we can initialize these guys to you know just some random dumb values and we can run that probably hit a breakpoint where is it where is my breakpoint there it is remove the breakpoint keep going and now we do not crash and now we can run our program no problem problem one solved all right, so here we have the second solution. Let's build it and run it. And yes, we get assertion failed. Okay, retry, break, and why are you fucking around with my call stack? Just fucking stay where you were. All right, so, oh yeah, because I opened a different solution, whatever. All right, so let's look up here. Put pixel being called 695, 195. That's no good because, you know, 800 by 600, we're off the bottom of the screen. All right. So what do we got for call box? Yeah, we're trying to draw at 700. Never a good time. Go to compose frame. All right. So it looks like for some weird reason that I have no idea, I made the second question the same as the first example in the tutorial 7 video. I fucked that up, I bet. Nah, just think of it as a trick question. Chili wouldn't give the same thing twice, would he? Nah. All right, so apparently we got to switch these. I don't know if this is the only problem, but I'm going to first fix this problem and then see if the fucker still works. Yeah, it seems to work fine. So the second question was kind of dumb. That was a that was a dumb question. Yeah, there must there must have been some mistake there. Something got mislabeled or whatever. Anyways, let's see if question three is a little more interesting. All right, here we go. Question three. Let's run it. Now on the wiki page, the description says that there's a problem if we try to go to the bottom of the screen. So let's do that. And yeah, we get assertion failed. Let's retry. Break. 
And we'll go up to put pixel. And yeah, we're trying to draw off the bottom of the screen. So, draw box. Yep, draw box is, seems to be working fine. It's getting a bad value for Y. So we go up one more and draw box X mobile, Y mobile. And X mobile, Y mobile. Yes, okay, so the Y mobile value is incorrect. This function call is fine, but there is something wrong with the Y mobile value. So that means that the problem is probably going to be in our update model function. So let's set a breakpoint there. Ah, uh, but. The problem is, if we set a breakpoint, let me just show you. If we set a breakpoint in update model, run that. Okay, so we're here, we can check, but remember, our motherfucking uh, box is, it's starting way up at the top, so it's not going to have the problem that it had, because it's not in that position. We'd have to take it down, we have to take it down to brown town first. And don't ignore that. What I meant to say was we need to set the value of y, we have to preset it to some value that is off the screen and then see what happens. Because what should happen is our code, our clamping code, should uh, adjust its value. Uh, so what we want to do is you want to go y mobile is equal to what's the value, I think it was 695. That's the value that it had when we crashed. So that's just going off the screen. And then we can go game.cpp, make, yeah, okay, we got a breakpoint. Now we can see what happens. And what should happen is Xmobile. Okay, this shouldn't change anything here. Let's go Xmobile 700. That should stay the same. Now, why mobile? This one should get adjusted, but it's not getting adjusted, right? Let's just double check. Not getting adjusted. So, that's not good. Stop. Run again. Hammer time. We gotta go down in here, and let's step in. All right, so why did I step into X? Step out. Step into Y. Wait a minute. That was weird. I, I thought I stepped into X, but I didn't step into X. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. I actually, I just remembered what the bug was, but let's just try this again. All right, so we're going to step over the X one, and then we want to step into the Y one. And when we step in, we get the clamp screen X. What the fuck? Step out. We were stepping into Y, right? But, oh shit, someone copy and pasted, but forgot to change one of the X's to a Y. Burned, roasted, toasted, burnt to a crisp. There we go. And this, by, by the way, is a super common bug to have where you've got two very similar lines. You probably copy and pasted it. You change the X here, you change the X here, but you forgot to change this X. And you got fucked over. So that, that was the homework. That's how you solve those. Uh, sorry about the question too there. I, I, was just, I was just checking to see if you're paying attention in the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. I will see you soon with some more C++. Next tutorial, we're making a game. Yeah!